Welcome, let's take a look now at a risk event for the week starting Monday the 6th of March. We're off now to our Johannesburg newsroom where we can catch up with Daily FX uh, foreign exchange analyst uh, Zane Valder, who joins us now on the line. Zane, good to catch up with you. What's your risk event for next week? Uh, good morning, Jeremy, and thank you for having me. Uh, the key risk event I will be focused on next week is the Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision and a potential bullish move on the Australian dollar US dollar currency pair. Um, just looking at some of the fundamental factors affecting the pair heading into the RBA meeting, I think the recent positive uh, manufacturing data we've seen out of China this week bode rather well for the Australian dollar given the trading relationship between the two countries, especially on the commodities front. Um, looking at the U.S. dollar side of things, the recent repricing of the Fed funds peak rate, I do believe most of this has already been priced into markets, uh, and the U.S. dollar could be in for some form of retracement in the week ahead, which further supports the narrative here. Um, heading into the RBA meeting, we have seen a 1% decline in inflation, however, in Australia, which has dropped the inflation rate to 7.4% year on year, still rather high for the RBA to be comfortable with. Um, the 1% drop in inflation, however, came about mostly due to a reversal in seasonal spikes and does not provide confirmation of a sustainable downtrend in inflation moving forward. So given all of this, I do expect the Reserve Bank of Australia to continue the current 25 basis points per meeting hiking cycle at Tuesday's meeting with a lot more confirmation needed before we see a pause from the central bank. Um, taking a quick look at the technicals, if we can, over here, um, we are currently trading in a descending wedge pattern here, which is usually a precursor to a bullish breakout. Should we, however, see any push down ahead of Tuesday's meeting, testing the lower end of the wedge pattern, this only will serve to improve the risk to reward of a potential upside move. Uh, we are admittedly in a bit of a downtrend here from the February 2nd high around the 71,600 area. Uh, so. Given that the downtrend is still in play here on the larger scheme of things, I would say some risk management needs to be rather tight on this particular setup. Uh, a daily candle close obviously above the wedge formation here on the upside will confirm a larger or will likely confirm a larger move to the upside, bringing the psychological 0 0.700 level into play and into focus. So, yeah, quite a lot to consider there and pay attention to with this decision next week. Yep. It looks like a great um, opportunity, I think, uh, Zane, to trade the markets. Thanks indeed for your time. It's been a pleasure to be able to catch up with you. Zane Valder from our Johannesburg newsroom.